Hello dear students, my name is Vikram Nalavde. I am from Mechanical Engineering Department working at Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering. In previous lecture, we had covered the uh, milling processes. Uh, some type of uh, milling process will uh, cover here along with the various uh, milling operations. So uh, let's start uh, with the uh, planar milling machine. This is very important uh, milling machine uh, because it does have two columns over which uh, side tool heads are mounted. Because of presence of uh, columns, it looks like uh, a double column uh, planar machine uh, in which uh, workpiece to be cut is mounted on the table. Here cross rail is also carrying vertical tool head uh, supported by uh, columns here. So this is very versatile uh, type of machine as we all know that milling machine is uh, it is uh, suitable for very uh, higher accuracy and uh, good surface finish that's why it has replaced many shaping and uh, slotting machines as well. So uh, in this arrangement enables it to machine a workpiece on uh, several sides simultaneously as it is uh, represented in this picture and uh, very uh, high uh, heavy and large components some machine and generally uh, it produces uh, long straight surfaces so uh, this type of machine is a uh, you know, very important uh, machine as per the process now we'll discuss uh, various milling operations so various types of uh, profiles are developed uh, by using different types of milling cutter here in this lecture we'll cover we'll discuss about uh, various types of cutters as well so uh, we'll discuss plane milling face milling end milling side milling slot milling angular milling form milling straddle milling gang milling and pocket milling so let's uh, start with the uh, plane milling that is also called uh, peripheral milling uh, these cutters on this uh, tool are cylindrical in shape and uh, have uh, cutting teeth on the periphery so uh, that's why it is also called uh, peripheral milling and uh, they are used for milling plane or uh, flat uh, surfaces a plane milling cutter may have either straight or helical teeth so uh, the feed is imparted to the workpiece so the surface uh, is uh, finished by using a plain, so plain surface of slab milling the machine is a horizontal uh, milling machine type here as it is represented in this picture in the uh, uh, in this picture the cutting tool is uh, cutting the material by having the similar directions Next type of uh, milling is uh, face milling. It is the operation to produce a flat surface that is perpendicular to the axis of a uh, rotating cutter. The cutter is the face milling cutter here and the machine can be a vertical milling machine. Uh, face milling cutters with teeth on the end face are used for machining large flat surfaces. The cutter may be mounted on an arbor uh, or rigidly clamped on uh, the nose of the machine spindle. Face milling cutters are similar to end mills but they are considerably larger in diameter. Next type of uh, milling is uh, end milling here. Uh, as it is clear from the picture that it is to produce uh, flat surfaces, keyholes, uh, grooves or uh, finishing the edges of the work pieces. So end mills have a cutting teeth on the ends as well as the periphery. End mills may be made as solid cutter in which the cutter body is a part of the shank. They may also be uh, made as a shell end mill uh, on a short arbor. End mills are used in tracer control profile uh, milling operations. They are employed for making deep grooves in uh, base parts profile recesses step perpendicular planes next is uh, slide uh, side milling here so uh, in side milling uh, as it is uh, 
uh, shown in this picture that uh, sides are cut by this side mean operations the operation performed uh, for producing flat surfaces slots grooves or finishing the edges of the work pieces here the cutters have teeth uh, around the periphery uh, and also on uh, one or uh, both sides plain side uh, milling cutters have straight teeth around the outside and side teeth on both sides these cutters are made in width uh, from uh, 5 mm to 25 mm and in diameters from 50 to 200 mm so uh, the cutters are uh, end milling cutter machines are on horizontal milling machines next is uh, slot uh, milling operation so in this uh, as it is uh, represented in this picture that uh, slots are cut in this manner various different uh, geometries of slots can be cut here so accordingly uh, the tools are mounted so uh, in the operation of uh, producing like uh, slots like t slots plane slots etc so many more profiles can be developed the cutter used in this case and milling cutter t slot cutter and uh, side milling cutter generally machines used for such type of milling is vertical milling machine here in this case the slots are cut to obtain various geometries next is angular milling so uh, angular milling uh, as uh, it is shown in this diagram these are made uh, as a single or double angle cutters and are used to machine angles other than 90 degrees some of the common cutters are uh, 45 degrees or 60 degrees single angle cutter and 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees double angle cutters they find the most wide application in tool production for milling chips fluids on various cutting tools so for this uh, cutters double angle cutter it is uh, mentioned here generally machines which are used that these are horizontal milling machines next is uh, form milling or it is called uh, profile milling generally profile milling uh, cutters with a curved tooth outline of a same shape as the profile of the workpiece are called profile or form milling cutters so in this uh, operation of producing all type of angular cuts like v notches and grooves serrations and uh, angular surfaces some of the common shapes are uh, uh, concave convex and uh, corner rounding cutters gear milling cutters are a kind of form milling cutter to machine any standard gear tooth so uh, the cutter used for such type of milling double angle cutter and machines are used on uh, horizontal milling machines next is uh, straddle milling uh, this is a very important type of uh, milling process because simultaneously uh, two parallel uh, surfaces on a workpiece can be cut as it is uh, represented in this diagram this is a spindle over which uh, two cutters are mounted and within uh, same time uh, different uh, parallel sections are cut so cutters uh, two or more side and uh, face milling cutters are used and uh, it is uh, used on uh, horizontal milling machine next is uh, gang milling it is uh, if we compare it with the uh, spreader milling gang milling is uh, used uh, for uh, different profiles on a workpiece simultaneously with two or more cutters at one stretch so this is the advantage of uh, gang milling that number of cutters can be used on uh, same, same uh, uh, single type of uh, work piece here. so here cutter is that different cutters are required so multiple cutters are used and uh, it can be carried out on horizontal milling machine this is a pocket uh, milling it is it is similar like end milling if we compare it with uh, this uh, to, prepare, to, to prepare slots, uh, key slots, grooves in similar manner. 
profiles are developed in such manner and shallow pockets uh, into the flat parts can be developed as like end milling operation so all these were uh, different types of uh, milling uh, operations now we'll discuss about the process capabilities generally uh, these include the processes parameter like uh, surface finish dimensional tolerances production rates and uh, cost con considerations so we have to consider all these uh, parameters while performance of uh, milling uh, operation so depending upon the conditions and material cutting tool material and parameters cutting speed uh, it may vary from 30 to 3000 uh, uh, meters per minute so that is uh, huge so feed per two typically it ranges from uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 mm and depth of cut uh, it is usually 1 to uh, 8 mm so here are some of the uh, problems associated with the uh, milling machine and which causes some of the problems are mentioned here so very few uh, we will discuss here like uh, tool breakage uh, if problem uh, happens then uh, it may cause that tool material lacks toughness improper tool angles machining parameters too high then uh, tolerances too broad if it happens then it due to uh, lack of uh, spindle and uh, work holding drive stiffness excess temperature rise dull tool chips clogging cutter so these are uh, some of the uh, general troubleshooting guide for milling operation that we have to consider and to overcome the problems so let's discuss about the design and uh, operating guidelines so while designing some of the points some of the factors which has which have to be considered that uh, standard milling cutter should be used as much possible as possible depending on uh, part design features these are costly uh, costly and uh, so it has to be it should be avoided uh, so such kind of milling cutters can be used uh, then the chamfer should be specified instead of radii it is difficult to smoothly match various uh, intersecting uh, surfaces if radii are specified so this is very important parameter uh, we have to consider this point here so internal cavities and pockets with sharp corners should be avoided uh, because uh, it, it creates a difficulty in uh, milling so uh, such kind of points are considered to avoid the problems associated with then uh, all those small milling cutters allow the production of any surface they are less rugged and more susceptible to chatter than uh, large cutters uh, thus proper clearance should be provided so uh, to avoid the chatter now um, workpiece should be sufficiently rigid to minimize the deflections uh, because huge pressure and forces are applied uh, during the cutting action so the deflection may take place so in that condition to avoid the deflection the material should be rigid enough then uh, these are the guidelines to avoid uh, vibrations and chatter in milling are similar to those in turning also in addition following practices should be considered uh, cutter should be mounted as close to the spindle base as possible in order to reduce tool deflections the uh, area contact should be very less tool holders and fixing fixing devices should be as as rigid as possible that we have discussed here to avoid the deflections then in case of vibrations and chatter tool shape and process conditions should be modified and uh, cutters with fewer cutting teeth or with uh, random tooth uh, spacing should be used so these are some of the uh, design and uh, working guidelines uh, for the main in this lecture we have covered uh, the milling machine milling operations and the design considerations thank you thank you so much